What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Welcome back. So, uh, my channel is called The School of Handball. So, those of you not subscribed, be a student to this class, okay? I feel like I'm a good teacher and a good instructor. So, let's get it. Today's video is going to be talking about the fundamentals, the fundamentals of the sport. Um, and what is the fundamentals? So, I want to quickly read something. Um, fundamentals are a way of life. An approach and a constant reminder to do the basics to achieve the ultimate goal of becoming a champion. Therefore, fundamentals are important because it lays down the foundation of success and it allows the champion athlete to master their sport. Let that sink in there, y'all. Because um, believe it or not, 95% of the handball players don't know or don't have or wasn't taught the fundamentals of the game. Yes, we all got the talent. We can kill. We can spike. We can drive the ball. We can do all those great stuff. But when it comes down to the nitty gritty, a lot of people is very confined in that one element of just a physical aspect. Whereas fundamental is all about the mental aspect of the game. Whereas you basically um, do the basics necessary in order to achieve or to simplify the point or the match or something like that um and nine times out of ten you might see where players will get so stuck up in just that one dimensional game and when that's not working they don't know have a, they don't have a plan b c d e and so forth and you want to have a lot in your arsenals but fundamentals is very vital y'all and that's just what I teach. I teach fundamentals. I feel like if you know the fundamentals of the game, everything else becomes so simple. Where the spikes and all that, that's all in addition. But once you learn the basics, fundamentals of the game, that's where your mojo and that's where the spark hit. You know. And I think a lot of these players is just um, premature, um, graduated, or they don't know. That's why a lot of times people fall off. And you don't see the numbers of the sport of handball growing, you know, or the competition. You might see the same six people or the same eight um, always elevating or they always in the top with, with the, you know, the prize money. And how can we change that? So that's why this um, subject is really important, guys. Another form of fundamentals is literally how you view the game. Um, walking into a game, you should already be strategizing way beforehand on what to do. Whether it's doubles, then it's you and your partner should be already have strategies on how to defeat your opponent. That's already a form of fundamentals because you're walking in prepared, okay? You never want to walk into a game unprepared and just free balling. No, that's when you lose the majority of your games. That's first and foremost. Number two, you want to know your strengths and your weaknesses. With, and then you also want to know your opponent's strengths and their weaknesses as well. So that way you can be able to exploit their weaknesses and take away the high strengths and within the match. That's another form of fundamentals. And um, understanding of where to be, understanding where not to be when you're in danger zone, how to reset the volley, all these things is fundamentals, plays, and tools. Um, and it's a lot with fundamentals. I'm telling you, it's a long list. I could go over a lot and a lot, but those are just the, the basics, things that you should know as a handball player. Um, and if you don't know these things, it's never too late, Okay. Um, understanding and identifying when it's the right time to take a timeout, when it's not the right time to take a timeout. Um, you don't know, necessarily have to take a timeout when you tie it. When you need to break that momentum, if a player scores about four to five points, you want to call a timeout immediately to break them down, cool them down, so that way you can reset the, the match like that too. When you're in danger or maybe when your partner is in danger, how to reset the volley and keep your end momentum of being in control of the game. A form of fundamentals. So it's a lot that's not being taught. Well, I don't see it being displayed, as such as say. So if it's not being displayed, that means that I know that a player don't have it within them just yet. You know, but we're going to change that right now. I'm telling you guys, once y'all learn the fundamentals, baby, you will be 10 steps ahead of the opponent. I don't care how smart they are, how, how good um they act list is. I don't care how long the list they could have won. King of the court, they could have won. Sir. Buddha, they could have won everything. Once you learn the fundamentals, your, your game become more sharper and stronger and um, more tight. You can defeat anyone. It doesn't matter how talented they are. I'm telling you. Um, people look at Nas like, oh, he's because he learned the fundamentals. He's still learning, you know. But when you learn the fundamentals, you'll have a lot more. Then you can be able to identify your opponents when they're weak, when they're mentally weak, um, when they're scared, when they're nervous, when they upset. All these things that you can under, um, identify within. 
again, so another form of fundamentals is if uh, your opponent is always standing behind you, where you should keep the ball? In front of you. Um, if your opponent always have, um, they have court position over you, you want to be able to move them or lob them so that way you can take ownership of that position so that way you can be an orphan. Another form of fundamentals. If your partner is um, <clears throat> in danger where they dove, you need to reset the volley. Whereas you want to lob the ball, slice the ball, or move the opponent that's on the opposite side of your partner where he dove. So if he dove on the right, you, you should be shooting to the left. And you should be lobbing the ball to the left and slicing the ball to the left. So that way your opponent can get off that floor. Another form of fundamentals. Understanding this as well. If your partner is always in front, so you're both in front, you want to utilize your partner as much as possible. He's a shield. He's basically giving a pick. You want to shoot the ball in front of him and around him, depending on how fast your opponent your opponent is and able to get the ball. So if he's slow, shoot. You could go in front. You could go to the side. Have have with it. But if they more sharp um, running on the outskirt, you want to be able to keep that ball by his body, by your body, in front of yourself and in front of them. Easy points fundamentals. Easy, easy, easy. You can do this over and over and over without like taking a toll on your body and overworking the match. I see a lot of people overdoing it. I'm like, yo, bro, just simplify it. Simplify the game. Or another example, if your op opponent is um, scared of power and you have power to generate, fundamentals, use that power to give you every setup. You can hit the ball hard at them all day and they give you easy setups or easy points. Why change it up? I see people change it up and start going for crazy shots and lose the match. When you should have stepped with what's working if it's not broken don't fix it keep using that power to get those easy setups and then do what you that's necessary in order to finish and capitalize on that point fundamentals so guys i hope this was really helpful to y'all if you have other questions or y'all want to um you have other topics that y'all want me to talk about feel free to leave a comment like subscribe and hit that notification button as well so you will know when i am upload another video okay take care guys Okay, guys, if you enjoy this teaching, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, y'all. And don't forget to hit that subscription button so you no longer have to be a guest to this class. And also, guys, don't forget to hit that notification button so you will know when the next time class is in session.